Hi, I'm Erica Stockwell Alpert, and in this session, I'm going to talk about how to make use of external data services in Sitecore personalization. A bit about myself. I've been a Sitecore developer at Valir since 2016, and I've been a Sitecore MVP since 2019. I made the Sitecore content export tool, which you can read about on my blog, which the link is listed below. Today's agenda, first I'm going to give a high level overview of what personalization is and how to use it in Sitecore. Then I'm going to discuss some examples of external data providers. Then I will give a semi-technical explanation of how to personalize on third-party data. Next, I will discuss how to integrate third-party data with XDB. And finally, I will address data privacy concerns. Personalization 101. What is it and why should you use it? What is personalization? This quote from Gardner explains it well. Personalization is a process that creates a relevant individualized interaction between two parties designed to enhance the experience of the recipient. Personalization delivers hand-tailored experiences or content to users based on information that a company has learned about them. Personalization relies on user data, which can be explicit, behavioral, or attribute data. The goal of personalization is to use information about the visitor to show them exactly the content they need as soon as they visit your site. Sitecore has no explicit data out of the box. Explicit data requires the user to willingly provide information, such as by creating an account or submitting a form. Explicit data can include login information, name, email address, survey responses, etc. Behavioral data is data gathered on the user's activity on the site. It can be tracked for anonymous or known visitors and can include basic visit information, behavioral profiling, goal or event outcome conversions, an example of behavioral data is uh, streaming services making recommendations based on shows that a user has previously watched. Attribute data is contextual data about an anonymous visitor, such as their physical location or the referring website. The picture here shows a site that is showing personalized content based on geolocation. Note that not all of the attributes shown on this slide are available out of the box with Sitecore. Location, referring campaign, and referring website are available out of the box. The others, organization, name, email, IP address, require external data providers to have access to. Data that's available out of the box with Sitecore includes GeoIP, referring URL, referring marketing campaign, first time or return visit, goal completion, entry type, and topical interest. To use personalization in Sitecore, a content author needs to add personalization rules to a rendering. The personalization rules define the conditions under which specified content will be shown or hidden. This is configured in the presentation details of a Sitecore item. Now I'm going to discuss external data providers. The main takeaway from this presentation is that you can personalize on any data that you have. This includes all of the data that Sitecore provides, but also any additional data that you are able to access using third-party providers. Kickfire is one example of a third-party service that provides information about a user's company based on their IP address. This information includes company name and website, size, revenue, company category, address, region, and number of employees. When it comes to writing a custom personalization rule, technically, if you wanted to, you could make your call to the third party service within the personalization rule code itself, but there are a couple of reasons we don't do that. Firstly, depending on the service provider, each API call may cost money, so we only want to call the service at most once per session. 
Secondly, there are some cases where calling the service on the server side may not work, which I'll discuss in the next slide. Therefore, we're only going to call the service one time and store all of the data retrieved either in a cookie or XDB. And we'll go into XDB later in this presentation. And then our personalization code will check the data that we've stored. One technical consideration is that personalization occurs in the Sitecore pipeline before the page is loaded. So therefore, your cookie or XDB facet has to exist before the first page load. Otherwise, your users may see unpersonalized content on the first page they visit. To make sure your cookie exists before the first page load, you can create a custom pipeline that calls your third-party service and creates your cookie and patches it in before the personalization pipeline. In some cases, though, it might not be possible to make your service call on the server side. This was the case with my implementation. Due to the CDN that the client was using, we weren't able to get the user's true IP address on the server side, and the client was not able to upgrade their subscription at that time in order to reveal the true client IP. So Kickfire wasn't able to accurately determine the user's company information based on the IP address that we were able to see on the server. Um, since Kickfire is based on IP address, we had to make our Kickfire call on the client side where the true IP address was visible. Therefore, to make, uh, to make sure the cookies existed prior to page load, I implemented JavaScript to hide all of the page content on the first load if the cookies did not exist, and then reload the page once the cookies had been generated. So technically, the users were actually seeing the second page load, but it gave the illusion of being the first page load. This solution is a lot more prone to errors. Um, it depends on JavaScript and depends on accurately generating the cookies or putting in error handling conditions for if it, the cookies are not successfully generated. But it gets the job done if it's not possible to make your service call on the server side, which sometimes just is the case. This next session, uh, section will be somewhat technical and is aimed at the developers who would be implementing custom personalization rules. Here's the code for the custom personalization rule that personalizes on a cookie. You can see that it's very simple and flexible, and it's not specific to Kickfire or any other third-party service. You can use this rule for any cookie. The rule simply looks for the specified cookie and checks whether the value matches the specified value. I previously mentioned that we can alternately use XDB instead of cookies, and I'll show that code in a bit. This code example is also provided in the session resources. Here's a picture of a personalization rule definition in Sitecore that uses the cookie personalization code that I showed on the previous slide. And here's a picture of the rule being configured. In this example, we're checking if the cookie named Kickfire Company Name has a value of Valir. With the data that we get from Kickfire and this one custom personalization rule, we can personalize content based on company size, revenue, or category. We can display targeted content for preferred clients. We can even be cheeky and hide content from competitors. Now I'll discuss integrating with XDB. XDB is not necessary for personalization. However, if you have XDB, it provides a number of advantages. Using XDB allows you to gather analytics data on the effectiveness of your personalization rules and to leverage the third-party data across other areas of Sitecore, like the experience profile and marketing automation. The main drawback to XDB is simply that not every Sitecore solution has it, and it costs money. If you're on Sitecore XM, the XDB implementation is not an option. My recommendation is, if you already are using XDB in your solution, take advantage of it. It's only a little more complicated to implement, and it provides a lot of additional benefits. But if you don't have XDB, the cookie solution will serve you just fine. The basic steps of integrating XDB are create a custom facet class, store the third-party data in XDB using the custom facet, and update the personalization rule to check the value of a specified facet. 
I've provided code examples for developers in the session resources. Lastly, I'll discuss data privacy concerns. Many countries now have laws pertaining to the storage of personal data. These laws vary by country, so you should check with your legal team to make sure your website is compliant and check if any data you're storing is considered personally identifiable information. Leveraging XDB to store data instead of storing it in cookies can help with privacy regulations and data safety, but you still need to be aware of GDPR or other privacy regulation considerations with XDB as well. XDB is simply more robust and can provide more protection, whereas cookies can be more vulnerable. Thank you for attending my session. Please feel free to reach out to me on Twitter or my email with any comments or questions.